All right, let's get started here. Jim, you're first. Hey guys. Hey. Um, let's see. I, I, you know, sorry I didn't uh, submit this in advance. I usually like to give you a little bit of a warning. I think this one won't be uh, so hard as some of my previous questions, though. Um, <clears throat> Not a good how to refer to myself. Say that. <laughs> All right. Uh, when um, when when I try to describe uh, myself, uh, when I try to use a, a term, depending on who I'm talking to. Sometimes for simplicity, I'll say I'm an objectivist, but most of the time um, I'll say that uh, if there's any uh, philosophy that most uh, that I most relate with, it is objectivism. And I do this uh, in deference to Ayn Rand's own principle of uh, seeing, you know, of saying flat out, objectivism is. A closed system is whatever she uh, said, whatever she wrote, whatever she thought, um, and I, I don't, uh, I don't object to that per se. But, but then, what would it mean for anyone to call themselves an objectivist unless they literally agreed with every last thing she said, which I don't. And I don't know that I, you know. I, I want to believe that there are not too many objectivists who really do. But bottom line question, as you can see, is what should I call myself? Well, I mean, I, 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 you know, that's up to you. But uh, but at the end of the day, I don't think saying I'm an objectivist means that you've embraced um, that that you are unquestioning of anything Ayn Rand ever said. First, not everything she said is in philosophy. A lot of what she said is in psychology or in, in other areas. And then I think that by calling yourself an objectivist, you're basically saying I agree with with the principles. I agree with uh, the, the, the fundamentals as Ayn Rand expressed them. In terms of applications, I don't know. I'm not sure I agree with everything. So I don't think saying you're an objectivist means you agree with everything she said. Um, I, I think it's useful to describe myself as an objectivist. I think it's good to get the term out there into the world. But I think saying you're a student of objectivism or saying that you follow objectivism, I mean, these are all fine as long as you get objectivism in there, because I think, again, I think it's good to get that there is such a philosophy and that, that uh, it's, a, it's a philosophy for living, people live by it or try to live by it. And, uh, and that's what you're really saying. You're saying, I, I try to live by these ideas. But then let me flip that over if I may. Um, okay. If someone then says, oh, does that mean you uh, believe in objectivism? If objectivism is that closed system, am I? Yeah, you can say I agree with most of it. I agree with the fundamentals of it. I, you know, I, I, I I'm not going to say here I agree with every word Ayn Rand ever said. You, you, you know, you can, you can make the caveats. You can then, you know, you're not committed to having one answer. Jonathan, okay. you want to say something on this? You're muted. Just quickly, you know, Jim, in kind of casual context where. Ayn Rand and objectivism is kind of a hot topic. What about saying I'm an individualist? You know, I make choices based on my own decisions for my own benefit uh, and with full context and putting it in that. Because most people, I think, you know, Yaron, you always say that every audience says, yeah, I own my life. I would like to think that most people would like to think that they are individuals on some level. Yep. Well, and, yeah, and no, uh, I think individualist is a great, is a great way. It's, uh, it's great, but I would like to see people using objectivist more because I would like to get it into the culture that there is such a thing. There is a philosophy. There are people. And the more we sep we don't just say we're followers of Ayn Rand, which sounds cultish. No, we adhere to a philosophy. There's a philosophy out there called objectivism, and that's the kind of – so I'd like to see us using that terminology more, not less. Thank you. Right, Jennifer. What we need today – what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brutes. 
All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.